What do Mormons think about abortion? Is it always okay, sometimes okay, or never okay? This is a great question whether or not you remember the church, and here's my best attempt at an answer. Mormon doctrine on abortion is founded from basically all the same scriptures that other Christians use for their doctrine against abortion. We believe that these scriptures are clear when they say that human life is a sacred gift from God and that it begins before birth. Job 31.15 in the Old Testament, Did not he that made me in the womb make him? And did not one fashion us from the womb? In Psalms we have Psalm 22.10, where it says, Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Very special, Psalm 127.3, Children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Isaiah 49, verses 1 and 5, where they say things like, The Lord hath called me from the womb, and the Lord that formed me from the womb. And the last and probably most famous, Jeremiah 1.5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee. So, based on that, you know that, like most other Christians, we definitely don't like abortion either. So what's our specific policy based on these scriptures? Well, True to the Faith, which is a really informative booklet on church doctrine that basically has everything right down to your kitchen sink. That's a great answer, and here are some quotes from its section on abortion. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints must not submit to, perform, encourage, pay for, or arrange for an abortion. Some exceptional circumstances may justify an abortion, such as when pregnancy is the result of incest or rape, when the life or health of the mother is judged by competent medical authority to be in serious jeopardy, or when the fetus is known by competent medical authority to have severe defects that will not allow the baby to survive beyond birth. But even these circumstances do not automatically justify an abortion. Those who face such circumstances should consider abortion only after consulting with their local church leaders and receiving a confirmation through earnest prayer. So basically we believe that abortion is always wrong except maybe a few rare circumstances in which divine guidance needs to be sought. So for this video, I'll talk to you next week. I'm going to leave you with a few quotes from the Modern Prophets on Abortion. Have a wonderful day.